Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and I know that it's supposed to be springtime but it kind of still feels like winter all over the states. Anyways, I wanted to kind of do a makeup look that combined both winter and spring. So I guess I'm kind of calling it a makeup to transition between winter and spring because it should be springtime very soon and I kind of wanted a makeup look that would help you guys get in that spring mood while it's still kind of winter. I hope that introduction made sense. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. I know you came here for the makeup, so let's go and get started with the makeup. So I'm going to start off by priming my face and primer is important during winter because your skin tends to get really dry. So make sure you choose one that moisturizes your face and makes you look overall really radiant and I'm just applying that all over my face. So once I've primed and created a flawless base for the rest of my makeup, I'm going in with my Boying Concealer and I'm going to cover my dark circles as well as any other blemishes I have on my face. And I'm also applying a little bit to the lids of my eyes just to create kind of a primer for my eyeshadows and for my eye makeup. So I decided to skip the kind of cakey liquid foundation for this look and I'm just using a powder mineral foundation to set the makeup that I have applied on my face. Okay, so here's where the spring starts to come in. So for blush, I'm using this one by Bare Minerals. It's called Vintage Peach. That's the color. You guys can use any kind of peachy blush that you have because peach kind of reminds me of spring overall. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and I'm blending it upwards. And once you've applied it on your cheeks, do not put it away just yet because we're applying it on our eyes as a kind of really light eyeshadow. So you do need a peach color because of this reason. You're matching your blush with your base on your eyes. So I'm just applying that to the lid of my eyes and just kind of blending upwards. Okay, so for this next step, you're going to need a dark blue or teal eyeliner. And I got this idea from a makeup look that I saw on a runway on New York Fashion Week. And I feel like it's just a perfect crossover of winter and spring. So what you're going to do is you're going to load an eyeliner brush with that blue eyeliner. And you're going to line your bottom lash line and then kind of extend it into a small cat eye. But then the trick here is that you're not going, and you may need to reload your brush by the way. Um, the trick here is that you're not going to extend extend it all the way in towards your eye, so kind of into the one-fourth outer portion of your eye. I hope that made sense, so just follow along what I'm doing here. Kind of do a small cat eye wing, and then blend the little edge with your fingers to ensure that there's no harsh lines. So I'm totally obsessed with this combination, the peachy kind of wash on your eyelid and then the blue eyeliner. It's just a really nice twist. So then I also tried lining my waterline and I don't know about you guys, but this is so hard for me. I'm not a real beauty vlogger, YouTube person. Anyways, just go ahead and line your waterlines and don't freak out like I was doing here. Okay, so the last step for our winter meets spring eyes is to apply mascara and I was having problems with my mascara here. I couldn't get it open. Anyways, you're just going to apply, apply, really, that's the new word. Just gonna apply a few coats to your top and bottom lashes. Oh my gosh, apply, do that. So for the last step in my makeup look, I'm gonna apply a few swipes of one of my Color Whisper lip things by Maybelline, and this is in the color Coral Ambition. It reminds me of spring because again, it's kind of a corally color, but it's also frosty enough to be appropriate for winter, so I'm just blending that in with my fingers, and that's basically it for the makeup look. So the kind of warmth to the coral color kind of reminds me of spring while the blue eyeliner and the kind of frosty tone to everything still keeps it appropriate for winter. So I'm basically obsessed with this makeup look. So this is my completed makeup look. If you guys enjoyed it or if you plan on trying it out, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up down below. And if you try it out, tag me on Twitter and on Instagram because I want to see your pictures and I want to stalk you and be a creepy psycho stalker and comment on all your pictures because we're friends like that. Anyways, that's it for this video. In the comments down below, I want you guys to let me know if it's still winter for you guys or if spring is slowly approaching. Let me know what temperature it is where you live right now. Are you freezing? Is it snowing? I wanna know. Let's talk in the comments down below. So, that's it. I send a million kisses your way, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.